Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Josh Millar bringing another terabyte, something for your weekly, daily encouragement. Uh, as you already know, we're in the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Booths, uh, most of all the Feast of Mishkan. I just gave you three terms. Uh, both of them were in Hebrew, one of them was in English. But it's interesting that when you pay attention to the Father's Moedim, his set-apart times and his set-apart seasons and feasts, you actually begin to see the flow of the Father and how he has his character, his nature, and his function reaching and teaching a people just like you, just like me. Now, I'm 28 years old, but yet I'm still saying, Father, show me your ways. And it's interesting that the more I pray, the more he says, okay, son, I want you to go through a little confinement. And I was like, well, what do you mean? He says, I need you to just stick a little bit more into the narrow path of righteousness. And I said, okay, Father, take away little by little the things that are distracting me, that are taking my eyes off of you. Because at the end of the day, I prayed saying, Father, send me a man who went through hell and back just to understand what you're doing to these uh, last days. And you know what? <laughs> Evidently, today we're in the last days. Turns out everybody who's saying that good is evil and evil is good, we're all getting mixed up and we're not even being anchored in knowing what's going on. We're all doing everything in the name that we thought was above all names. And I didn't say Jesus. I said in the name above all names. We called Yahuwah by the descriptive terms God when he said call me by name. Yahuwah. We call him by title. Lord, but yet he said, call me by name, Yahuwah. Have we been doing that lately? Well, all I can tell you is this. In my work, I'm telling people left and right, hey, did you know that his Hebrew name is Yahushua? Did you know that his father's name is Yahuwah? Well, this particular type of terabyte is, I was trying to get to Leviticus, but you know what? I'm going to teach you guys something too. In this terabyte, I'm giving you a little bite for you to terrorize the kingdom of darkness because it suffers violence because we're restoring Yahuwah's name. Every time you meditate and just think Yahuwah, 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 you just make him become alive. You personalize him. You categorize it. You actually, you know what? Let's scratch that. You love him. You, you just softly say, Father, I'm wooing you. I'm asking to be more intimate with you. I desire more intimacy with you. The more you're desiring him, he will sire your desire. Anyways, I think I said about enough, but I just want to say this. Um, this is the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Booths. I'm actually excited for what who is going to be doing right now. But most of all, I want to say this. Why? Another reason why we are to celebrate his set-apart feast. And it says in the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verses 43. So that your generations know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths. Are you not the child of Israel? When I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. And I don't want to go on the rabbit trail a little bit, but I will say this. Egypt also means limitations. See, the Father is Yahuwah, is our creator, and he's trying to take you, he's trying to take me out of the land of bondage, out of the land of limitations, and put you into the promised land, a land flowing of milk and honey, and most of all, his manifested presence. Anyways, guys, uh, and ladies, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video, give it a like, but most of all, we just want to say I want to say thank you for tuning in to this terabyte tonight, good in the morning or in the evening or in the midday, whatever you're watching. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And you know what? Shalom, everybody.